So it's April 2018 and Adobe just released the latest version of Adobe After Effects CC version 15.1 and I'm going to go over all the new features with you right now. The main new feature of this release is the Master Properties option. This allows you a completely new way to work with compositions. When you isolate properties in the Essential Graphics panel and then you nest that composition, those properties are going to show up as master properties in your parent comp. These properties are now all keyframable and you can even push the changes back to your master comp or pull the original from the master comp. It really reduces the project complexity and saves time when you're building really complex animations across multiple comps. I actually created a standalone tutorial for this feature, so go check it out here. The other big announcement is the new Advanced Puppet tool, which adds new functionality. It offers new pin behaviors. You can apply pins to any shape or puppet, and the Advanced Puppet tool will dynamically redraw the mesh based on where your pins are located, and you can still switch back and use the Legacy Puppet tool. There are new improvements to the VR workflow where you can now preview your composition in a head-mounted display including the HTC Vive, Windows Mixed Reality, and Oculus Rift. You can even switch between video preview preferences including monoscopic, stereoscopic top-bottom, and stereoscopic side-by-side. -side. They've also improved the overall output quality of the VR plane to sphere effect which supports smoother and sharper renderings of the edges of your graphics. One new feature that I think is really a big deal and that didn't get much press which kind of surprises me is this new property link pick width. If you look at over here, now all of these properties have pick whips and they've changed the parent column over to parent and link. I'm happy to see that there's a bunch of cool little small improvements to the essential graphics panel. You can now add all the transform group properties of a 2D layer over to the panel. You can drag multiple selected properties from the timeline panel straight over to the essential graphics panel. And now when you duplicate a composition in the project panel, it will also duplicate the properties and comments added to the essential graphics panel for that particular composition. You can also now right click on a property in the panel and select reveal in timeline and it will open up that composition even if it was closed. After Effects introduced multiple improvements on how you can work with data files and how you can drive the animation within those data files. It's much easier now. There's support for comma separated value and tab separated value files. And now each individual data property has an expression applied which makes it much easier to work with inside of After Effects. There are new support updates for a few video and audio formats including Canon, RED, and Sony. They've dropped support for the QuickTime 7 era formats and codecs. You can now disable that pesky missing fonts dialog box. Another cool feature that I think has not been pimped out enough is this property reference text layers option. You can now drag properties directly from the timeline straight onto the composition panel to create text layers. Now these properties are linked by an expression that displays the current value of the property and the text layer is basically set as a guide layer. Now this is really cool. You can use the value of the property as a text layer to visually represent a value such as for testing expressions and for working with JSON data sources. Another favorite update of mine is the fact that you can center anchor points in new shape layers. So when you create a new shape layer, you can choose to center the anchor point of the layer in the shape you first draw as opposed to the center of the composition. This is disabled by default, so you're going to have to go in the preferences and change it. Some of the blend modes have been updated. Now the darken, lighten, and the soft light blending modes now use the same render as Photoshop. So the key difference is that in After Effects, the render impacts only the regions of partial transparency. Some of the commands in the layer menu have now been consolidated. So now when you right click on a layer in the timeline or in the composition panel, you'll see the new consolidation of track and stabilize, open, reveal, and create. So, do you have a favorite new feature in this release? Let me know in the comment section. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, be sure to subscribe. I got a bunch of other tutorials on the new features in After Effects and Premiere Pro, so be sure to check out my channel, and I'll see you next time.